Mike, um, congratulations. What Can you walk us through that first quarter? And what was your mindset going into tonight? Were you trying to be aggressive? And then what did you see as you're just reining in six three-pointers in the first quarter? I mean, I kind of, my mindset was, I got to start the game aggressive for my team because I knew I knew they were going to come out super aggressive. And I, I wanted to just, my mindset was try to weather the storm as much as you can and, give, and help your teammates uh, feel confident to make plays themselves because I knew it was going to be rough out there. So, I mean, I was just shooting, being aggressive, and uh, that's how it went. Wake up, Toby, Nine News, Denver. Mike, uh, what, what does this say about this team with, with, you know, you yourself as a young as a young player, you got a lot of young players winning um, in a hostile environment in, in a game six. What does it say about this team? I mean, we got a lot of dudes who are tough players, man, like me. I had my moment in the first half, and then, you know, I cooled off. The rest of the game, I don't think I scored. And then, you know, Yoke obviously took over, but then the way Austin and AG had their moments, and then Monte, like, J. Mike, we just got a lot of dudes that are capable, very capable, um, and we're real deep. So it definitely was a total team effort tonight. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Mike, congratulations. Um, so you guys were down pretty much the whole third quarter, and then you guys started to make a run. What was the key to that run and then eventually taking the lead? Shoot, getting stops and then Nikola Jokic. I mean, he took over the game uh, when we needed him to. What do you finish with? What do you finish? 36, and I think he started off really slow, so that's pretty amazing. Um, yeah. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Mike, congratulations. Why does this team thrive so much through adversity and through people doubting and counting you guys out, whether it be injury, whether it be other guys or superstars or other teams being talked about more? Why does that fuel you guys so much? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that fuels us. I think we just have such a tight knit group that doesn't even listen to the noise. I mean, I know, I know dudes like don't even pay attention to it. I don't even think Joker has social media. I don't get on social media. Um, so like, we don't really hear some of the noise. So, I mean, that just helps keep us locked in. I don't even know that people were talking like that, like you just said. And I think um, the rest of the guys, like, like we just, we believe in ourselves. We are constantly encouraging each other in the locker room. Man, we have uh, we did it last year. A lot of people were saying that we couldn't beat, you know, come back from 3-1, we did it twice. So I just think we, we're used to, you know, uh, having to just believe ourselves. Kristen Peak, Yahoo Sports. Hey, Mike, um, congratulations on moving to the next round. Uh, I just want to know what did, what was coach's message to you guys in the locker room after the win and advancing to the next round? I mean, his message was pretty much, we ain't done nothing yet. Like that was a very hard fought series, but that wasn't our goal to come out the first round. Um, so obviously we were celebrating for a second, but then when we brought it in, it was just like, this isn't what we, what we're here for. This isn't the end goal. So let's get ready for the next, for the next uh, series. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Michael, I guess what, what's your mindset either individually or, or I guess as a team when, when Nicole is a little bit slow to get going and he's got, he, he picks up his second foul, I think six, six minutes in? I mean, my, my mindset was just, uh, you know, I, we got to pick up the slack. Like, like he, the same way he has our back and is taking over games late when he's uh, struggling at the beginning of the game or gets in foul trouble, he has to be able to count on us and we got to come through. So that was, that was our mindset. And I think we weathered the storm pretty well um, until he got back out there. James Hill, BNC. Michael, uh, you come back to the Northwest where you went to high school your senior year. You drop in 26 points. You pull down five boards. You dish out four assists. It's a victory at Portland, a hostile environment, and the Nuggets move on. Can you just talk a little bit about this game and then just going forward and, and doing things the Denver way? I, mean, I think that this game has showed our maturity as a team. Um, 
like you said, a hostile environment at game six, which was obviously very important to them. And they have superstars over on that team. Like they got some of the most clutch players. You know, Damian Lillard was amazing all series. And to close him out on his home floor, like that just showed on maturity because that dude is a he's a one of the best there is. So um I'm really proud of our team. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Mike. Uh, when Austin hit that three-pointer late, uh, Portland calls timeout. You and Will sprint down to the floor. Um, can you describe what the bench was like over those final few minutes as it started to set in and you, you kind of realized the result? I mean, we was just we was afraid because we know, like, we knew that to us going into this game, it was like a game seven because nobody's trying to see uh, – Damian Lillard, one of the clutchest players ever, like game seven, we knew like we had to come out here and be the aggressors. We we didn't want to go to a game seven. We wanted to finish it tonight. Um, so that was our mindset. We knew game four, I think it was game four, after we had won game three, we played game four and they blew us out on their home court. So we knew if we come out lackadaisical, we're very capable of getting uh, blown out, like ha what happened in that game. So um, we just had a different mindset tonight. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Mike, congratulations. Uh, just thinking about your first playoff experience in the bubble, um, comparing it to this one, you played a lot <clears throat> more uh, significant of a role this time. And is there anything you can point to as something that you've learned from this experience that you didn't learn that first time around in the bubble? Um, I mean, it's different. Obviously, when fans are in the crowd, it definitely brings a different element to the game. Uh, you got you to gotta be poised and uh, confident under pressure because it's definitely different, um, especially in these hostile environments. Um, but other than that, man, I'm just trying to keep growing on and off the court. All of this is a learning experience for me. Um, so I'm just trying to get better and better as time goes and soak it all in and enjoy it. All right, Mike, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Katie Wingy from Altitude Sports. Quick two-parter for you here, Mike. The last two games from Monte, how did he take his game to the next level and how did that help you guys? And then tonight, the minutes that Jamichael Green gave, what did you see from him? I mean, Monte, like that dude, the last two games, the way he's come up in the clutch in the fourth quarter, been so huge for us. Um, like, like, I can't say enough about that dude, just his composure, what he does for our team is pretty amazing, um, especially being a backup point guard his whole life. He's stepping up on the biggest stage and, and showing what he's capable of. And then Jamichael, you know, he um, – the way he brought us home, getting those rebounds, you know, being aggressive. Like I told Coach, I think I came out with five, six minutes left and I saw what he was doing out there. I was like, man, let them – like, let him rock. Let J. Mike do – just because I saw how hard he was playing and what he was doing. Um, so I'm super happy for him and the game he had. And I'm just really happy for the whole team. And we got – we got – 12 deep, you know, there's dudes that aren't even playing on our team that can play on some other team. So we just got a real deep team and we all believe in each other. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.